here, and we are now in Cornfall Island! Hi guys, I do want to apologize for, for some reason my audio from my action income wasn't working properly and all the things that I'm saying on this point is a bit gibberish so I'll just have a dub narration from here. So to start off, what is Turtle Island Negros Oriental? Well, Turtle Island is a hidden paradise an hour away from Dumaguete. So what can we expect in Turtle Island? You can expect in this place to have a nice white sand and a sandbar extending a few meters away from the shore. Other than that, you could also stay cool in this place because of the abundance of mangrove trees. In this area, almost 80% of the place is covered by mangrove trees, so finding a shade isn't going to be a problem here. You can still unwind and relax and enjoy the hotness of this place, if you know what I mean. So. Let me tell you a fact here guys, Turtle Island is not actually an island but a peninsula. For those who are asking or who doesn't know what's the difference of an island and peninsula, well, uh, an, well an island is basically a piece of land surrounded by water while a peninsula is a piece of land surrounded by water on the majority of its border while still being connected to the mainland. So you could say that a peninsula is almost an island, but it's not. So, how do we get to Turtle Island? First is, start off by going to Ceres Terminal in Dumaguete. And take a bus there, going to Shatan. Now, if you're not too familiar with the place, be sure to sit near the bus driver and ask him to drop you off in Antulang Crossing, where Habal Habal drivers are located. Now, just a reminder, do not go to the town of Shatan that's already a bit far from where you're going. Now, from here, you'll have three choices reaching Turtle Island. First is go to the port in Barangay Siit, which is a little farther, or stop in this area, which has a small signboard on the left side. Like this. The boat ride here is much more cheaper than the one in the port. It's 20 pesos, you'll just have to walk a few meters to reach the boarding area. And the third option is by walking. Yes, by walking. Like I said a while ago, this place is a peninsula, which means there's a land connecting this place to the mainland to reach to reach there, you can ask the Habal Habal driver to take you to Barangay Lutuban. Now from there, you can ask the locals there which way is the path to reach the Turtle Island. But I wouldn't advise this if you have a lot of things to carry because it's a little bit far. Now if you have a vehicle or joy riding with a motorcycle, that would be much easier since all you just have to do is just navigate yourself from Dumaguete to Zamboanguita, after you reach Zamboanguita, which is a few kilometers away from the town, you'll have to be mindful on your left side. A huge signboard there going to Antulang. Once you see that signboard, go turn there and follow the road. If you get lost, don't worry. Just ask the locals there. There'll be more. There, they would be more than happy to help you. And actually. Getting lost is one of the fun parts of an adventure, right?
Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And if you have some questions, feel free to comment here or message me on Facebook. I'll do my best to reply on your questions. Until the next video, peace out and stay awesome.